Welcome everyone, I'm Nana. And I'm Bob. And this is Parliamo Generico. Let's go! Today, we are with Cora and Jose to talk about the project Art With Her Yet. Welcome! <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Um, let's talk about you. Um, who are you? Where do you come from? And um, what do you do before this project? Well, my name is Jose Vilches. Uh, I'm a, a photographer and a painter, originally from Nicaragua. And before we started the Art With There Yet project, I was actually teaching art in China, where I met Cora. And my name is Cora Rose. I'm a songwriter and a musician and performer. I grew up in Wisconsin, in the north of the United States. And before Art We There Yet, I actually have done many things. I've, um, I've always been a performer, always been a musician. Um, started that when I was very little. But I also love to do other things as well. So I studied politics and economics in school. Um, I was a teacher. Then I, was, I worked in the criminal justice system. And then I went to China to teach English, which was very fun. And that's where I met Jose. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> A good story. <laughs> yeah, in China. A very good story. <laughs> yeah, the, this story has a lot of layers, so we tried to simplify it for you guys. Otherwise, we'll be here talking for hours. <laughs> and why did you choose this life, this kind of life? Uh, well, uh, Cora and I, we both, uh, before we met, we travel extensively around the world. Uh, I, on my side, I was traveling uh, just for the sake of traveling, curiosity of meeting new cultures and new experiences and try new foods and things like that. So after many years of traveling that way, uh, I kind of wanted to travel a little bit more with purpose, uh, even though that I part of my purpose of traveling was getting inspiration for my art i kind of wanted to give back to communities so this lifestyle living in a in a mobile home basically a mobile art studio allows us for us to create our own art while we are traveling and also to do a little bit of volunteering where when we go to many different communities that welcome us and we thought that this will this will be the best way of doing it instead of just traveling with a backpack or with a car and always coming back to your home base. So basically, uh, these lifestyles allow us for our home base to be wherever we park the bus. And for me, I chose this life because I love movement. I love traveling. I love seeing new places. And now the project has made that even stronger in both of us. Before, I would get a little tired of one place after two years. Now I get tired of one place after two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of a dangerous life like that because then it becomes harder to settle down later because you, you become addicted to moving to the next place. <laughs> right. That's very true. Yeah. We know that you two live in a bus. Mm -hmm. um, how is it? <laughs> It's not usual to, to know that two people live in an American bus. We... You are crazy. <laughs> A little bit crazy. <laughs> yeah. So you want to answer that question? It's funny. The bus is the nicest apartment I've ever had, actually. And I have lived in... Three major cities around the world, including New York City. And it's so funny to me that the bus actually is like, oh, it's just, 
it's wonderful. It's like everything you want. It's it's a beautiful little home, but the views change every time we move the bus. You know, sometimes we have views of amazing ocean. Sometimes we have views of mountains. Sometimes we have views of just last week we had the view of an oasis. So just million dollar views um, from inside the space that the way we built it, it's very very comfortable. Um, not yeah. all buses are as comfortable. <laughs> see, aren't we there yet, bus? <laughs> how about you, Vin? Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, it sounds crazy. You know, it's people living in a school bus. The the usual thing that comes to people's mind is like, oh, these are a couple of hippies, you know, they, you know, living in a in a bus. But uh, for us as artists, it was really important to have a, a beautiful place to get inspired and work, you know. And uh, so when we build the bus, we had that in mind. Uh, the interior had to be functional, not just functional, but also beautiful. Uh, a place that feels so cozy. The, the, when you're tired of being outside, hiking, doing a project or, or whatever it is that we're doing, that, that we like, we feel like, okay, we're going to go home. We, we, we want to go home and you know, drink a glass of wine or a glass of beer and enjoy and cook and host other people. So uh, the, the bus now is a little home and it's, it's so comfortable. We have everything we need in, in that little amount of space that we feel really happy there. And, and yeah, sometimes, from time to time, thoughts come to my mind like, oh my God, we live in a bus and we're going to be sleeping on the street inside a bus <laughs> because we park in many different places. Like Cora was saying, sometimes we're in beautiful places, but sometimes we are in places that are not very glamorous, like a parking lot, you know, or maybe overlooking a not very pleasing view, but still you're home, you know that that view is temporary and you're comfortable, you're really happy. And pe when people come inside the bus, they always go like, wow, we didn't think it was like this beautiful and this spacious. And like I said, we have everything. We have hot water, we have um, a refrigerator, a microwave, we have an air conditioning, we have a fan, and Cora has her complete recording studio in the bus. I have my working station to be able to edit videos and photos and also a space to, to paint if I wanted to. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's, it's the idea of living in a bus sounds crazy, but for us now it's like that is home. Yeah. Yeah, clear. <laughs> I've seen a lot of beautiful peak of your landscape uh, on your Instagram profile. Yeah, so good. <laughs> thank you, thank you. But a question uh, that many people ask. Uh, How do you pay for this kind of life? That's the million dollar question. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, okay. there, there's not one single way, but there's multiple ways that bring a little bit here and a little bit there. Cora could explain you a little bit more about that. Yeah. So the first thing that you have to understand is that we've been on the road about over just a year and a half. And most of that time now has been the pandemic. So when we started, uh, we started with $800 in the bank. I had $400, he had $400. And we didn't know how we were going to make it work. We just started with a big leap of faith. Well, we kind of knew credit card. <laughs> yeah, credit card was, was our, the way that we saved ourselves when, when bad things happened. Um, so during that full, like between when we started and the pandemic, we were figuring it out. And then the pandemic happened. And so that turned everything around. So then we had to figure it out all again. So, so far in the, for us, um, the main way that we, we've been able to um, make some money on the road is basically three main channels. And that is we have a Patreon uh, where people, we give my music and his art and behind the scenes stories and people support monthly. And that helps us to always have something. And then um, when we have, we do murals. So we do like, we volunteer our time for murals in different places. And if we find a mural sponsor who pays for the material and for a little bit of his time, that is a way that we can make some money too. And then the third way is my performing. If I can find a place to perform uh, and do concerts, then that's a way that we make money too. 
we have a little bit that come just a teeny teeny bit from like my music sales online but that's not very much because it's all streaming now um and then jose does stock photo- photography as well so but we're still and and also like amazon we do some affiliate links in our videos and our website but that's very very little it's not enough to live on but we're trying to grow and build and, and change all this around too to make it even more yeah um, viable because it's a work in progress basically but we found the three big ones for us a patreon mural sponsorships and music performance and now it's very important to add that for this kind of lifestyle uh especially if you're traveling uh, across uh two continents uh things change even if you're traveling only in one country you don't have a routine you don't have a a daily routine that you get used to so it's very important that you have different avenues to create revenue because like let's say for example just a week ago i got a gig to to photograph uh, an apartment that's going to be rented out as an airbnb right so when i'm in one place like that i might get a, a a small job like that but since i'm moving the next week i cannot expand and and do more of these jobs around the area and then I'll, if I move to another city, I'll have to start getting new contacts to keep doing that. So having just if that was just my single uh, way of making money, then I'll be in trouble because it's always changing. I cannot build a clientele around me. So having the Patreon and the mural sponsorship and the music and the photo stocks and whatever comes in between is very helpful to create a steady stream of revenue. Otherwise... Um, you'll be in trouble. So uh, I think it's important for people thinking and going into this lifestyle. Uh, think about two, three, four different ways that you can bring revenue because your life is changing every day. No day is the same. Yeah. Um, what's about your project? Aren't we there yet? <laughs> yeah. So Aren't We There Yet is a project to travel all the countries of the Americas that you can get to via bus. <laughs> you can't get to some like islands, but to travel all of the Americas from Alaska all the way to Argentina, that's 30,000 miles, 23 countries, and creating art and music inspired by the Americas, inspired by the people and the landscapes, showing our diversity and showing our shared humanity, and also giving back along the way. So painting murals, and giving free workshops in communities that don't have access to art funding. And that is our project. We just we started, we thought it was going to be one year and then we said two years and then a pandemic happened. <laughs> and so now we say five years and then and you know sometimes we say like it'll just it'll end when it ends and we're in no rush now. Maybe when we reach Argentina we'll put the bus on a boat and go to Africa and do Cape Town to Cairo. Uh, we don't know, we, we just go slow and create art that, that shows the beauty of, of the Americas. Yeah, but this kind of lifestyle is important to go, go with the flow. And, and our, our project, what, what Cora explained, is just the, the, whole, the whole idea about the project. But in between all of that, there's music videos, uh, Music Dakota is producing and recording in the studio. I'm working on a series of portraits of people of the America that we would like to do some exhibitions along the way. Like Cora says, uh, and, uh, one of the ideas of our project is um, to show the, the diversity of people of the America is their strength. You know, we have people from all backgrounds, from all over the world, all kind of ethnicities. And we are all Americans in one way or another. So uh, my series of portraits is a uh, black and white series of portraits, removing colors. So to focus more on, on the fact that we are all humans and we have more similarities than we have differences. And then, and then we have the, the mural projects um, and volunteering to teach uh, songwriting workshops, painting workshops and, and things like that. Uh, and also experimental films. So it's, We're doing a l- so many things in our project. It's not um, uh, one single thing. And obviously, was, uh, we enjoy um, meeting new people, learning about the subtle differences in between the cultures in the Americas, 
and experience that as a part of our love for traveling. So one day we can see you in Italy? <laughs> Maybe. Well, it's, Maybe. Maybe. It's, it's, there's def, always the possibility. You know, <laughs> we, we always have this uh, travel bug that doesn't leave us alone. That was something that happened in China. Uh, we, we were both pretty stable. We had good jobs. and We lived in a crazy big city, but it was still beautiful. But after a year living there, I, I, I felt trapped. I felt like I have to keep on traveling. So uh, after we finished the, the Americas, so we might want to settle down in Nicaragua. But if we feel like trapped again, like Cora says, well, maybe we just put the, bo the, the, the bus on a boat and cross to Europe or to Africa. It will be challenging traveling in Europe with the bus because it's very long. <laughs> so yeah. People have to think about, uh, uh, think about that. So that will be tricky. <laughs> And um, why? Why did you do it? Why? <laughs> yeah, uh, this this goes back to that to that feeling of traveling, you know. But we, I, I've just turned 40 years old, so uh, I'm also getting into wanting to have like like a root somewhere, have have a your, your own little home. So the bus provides that while we are traveling. And, it, and like I said, it's for us. I'm pretty sure it's the same for us. Uh, we, we can be in just in one place. We probably can be settled down in a place for a few months, but then we want to keep going and uh, exploring the world. And we're too curious and we want to experience so many different things. So taking a one week vacation doesn't really do anything for us. So we have to immerse in a culture, create some art based on that. And having a home on wheels really provides that uh, platform for us to kind of feel like we we are stable, but we're moving. <laughs> I don't know if it makes sense. <laughs> yes. For me, that's a really good question. Why? <laughs> I feel like In this life and in this project, this lifestyle and this project, um, I'm checking off all the boxes of what makes me happy. I get to travel. I get to do my music. I get to help people. And I get to have a home, but I get to also move around. It's just all the things that make me the most happy this project and this lifestyle make that possible yeah it's true you know like that now the car puts it in that context uh you can have a beautiful home right with the view of the ocean but it's there you cannot take the house later and have it uh in the middle of a mountain full of snow or or whatever other landscape you know so you could be happy having a uh a house with an ocean view but if you are like us oh, like you need to travel then you need to have a lot of money to have many houses around the world right to experience all these things and and that's the beauty uh, that the bus provides that and it doesn't have to cost you a million dollar you know <laughs> and uh yeah like the way the crab are like these lifestyles that has everything for us for everything that makes us happy And, and that was a, it's an easy decision to say, okay, what will I do with this? Well, because this, this, and this, you know, this keeps me happy overall. So that's, that's really good. <laughs> and um, how people can help you to go on with this project? There, there's many different ways. Uh, uh, one of the best ways, I think, for us is supporting our art. There's someone who loves core music and, and, and they really like it and they want to buy the music that helps uh, sharing, sharing the music if they like it, uh, buying my photographs. Or if, they, if, if someone from, from any countries along our path in the Americas uh, would like to have a mural in their hometown and they want to sponsor it, uh, meaning buying the materials and maybe donating a little something so that we can keep going to go to the next uh, destination so that we can paint another mural. That would be great. Uh, if people want to become patrons and donate anywhere from a dollar to whatever they can, 
to support our project. That also helps. Uh, if someone wants to have a private concert and donate something to our project, so the choir can go and play a private concert, that's another possibility. So there's many, many different ways yeah. in which people can enjoy our, pro uh, our project and be part of that project. So, yeah. Yeah, I think that summarizes it. The, the best way to support us is to, to either join us on Patreon or... Um, you know, support our work as artists. Go to my Spotify and listen to my Spotify and follow me on Spotify <laughs> and find Jose's photography and, and buy a print. And so we don't we don't want people just to give us things. We want people to we, support us as artists. They, yeah, and the, we want whoever wants to be part of our project to to we receive something from there, and, and we would like them to receive something from us. Um, either in terms of our art or collaboration. Like I said, if someone wants to sponsor a mural in their hometown or their uh, elementary school or their high school and uh, help us get there and provide the materials, uh, finding us a place to park, you know, taking us to to a restaurant where we can try their local food. All that is inspiration <laughs> <laughs> to keep going. And we can we can see everything on your website. Yes, yeah, we have uh, we document everything that we do in terms of workshops and uh, murals, and uh, now we are we are documenting everything. We more of the story behind. Before our first project, we were just uh, doing time lapses of of the murals. So, but uh, starting in this new uh, past two murals that we're painting. We are telling more of the story behind how we meet the locals, how we get there, which this we're hoping that will make will make it more interesting for people who want to follow our journey and, um, you know, just get inspired by it and maybe be part of the uh, of this project in one way or another. Because the project is we wouldn't be able to do this without the help of all the people uh, that help us convert the bus and to gather the funds to put it together and now that we are on the road this wouldn't be happening without the people that welcome us and uh and sponsor murals and workshops or do all those little things that make everything happen yeah. so i think the website um youtube and instagram are the good places um, yes we leave a lot of all of the we we leave it uh, in our description <laughs> awesome <laughs> Um, I, I think that's all. <laughs> Thank you so much for accepting our uh, our invitation. And um, we remember to everyone that we are also in Amazon Music. And uh, that's all. See you on another time. Bye. Thank you so much Bye. for having Thank us. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it.